Download all the Sly Show podcasts at theslyshow.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie's show is about to start. So sit down, get comfortable, shut the fuck up, and listen. Always been a fucking bright dude. He ever tell you when he fucking smacked me around? Fuck no! Get over here! Don't let that fucking bastard fool you. That fool got hands. For real? I bring it up all the time. This fool's like, why don't you drop it? I was like, man, because that shit was, that shit was kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. Honest with Ernest. Now that's my type of show. Yes, yes, yes. yes one, man. two, one, two. Two, three, four, five. You heard that voice. Ah. Cleave is in the ah, building. Ah, can I get an applause in this bitch? Ah, no applause for me, sir. <laughs> if we had an applause button, we would for sure hit it for you, man. Ah, Welcome back, good. Cleave. For sure. Uh, Lenny is not here. We can't get Lenny and Cleave in the same place. At the same time. At the same time. I, I, I'm sorry, folks. I'm still working to make that happen. It's been quite some time since I had Lenny and Cleve on the show at the same time. Yeah. But uh, Lenny had a, um, a family thing he had to deal with, and uh, it was actually a beautiful family thing that he had to deal with. And, uh, you know, we'll leave that at that. But uh, nonetheless, we are still bouncing. It is me and Cleve on Just Being Earnest. Via the slideshow.com. Now, Cleve, last uh, week uh, you missed the show. Yes, uh, I did. Due to uh, birthday celebrations. Birthday, yeah. Now, how was it, man? How did everything go? H- happy birthday uh, and you know, all that fly shit. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, Leo season. I fucking did a show. Like, I got up there, rap, DJ, the whole shit. Oh, okay. Oh, we hear the sirens. We out here in the town. Yeah, Oakland, California. Y'all hear the sirens? Can you hear the sirens? Oh, somebody might have got stretched out. Somebody might got stretched the fuck out. Out here in Oakland, California. Some niggas might be out here robbing, shooting, and stealing. Hey, you know, it's, it's you know, um, I think 50 Cent said it best. One, one, one thing he said, what does he say? It's hot out in this bitch. That's a good enough reason. You talking about summertime, you know? The goons come to hunt you down. Anyways. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to that, y'all, but that was great. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to say to that. Um, anyways, your your birthday celebration, you was up on stage rapping? Up on stage rapping. I ain't done that in a minute. You were uh, rapping, uh, you were rapping your latest songs and uh DJing and spinning other people's music, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Mm, where, the, where was uh, this at? This was at Mojo's. I'm sorry. I'm lounge. sorry. What? Mojo's Lounge. Mojo's Lounge. Fremont, California. Mojo's Lounge in Fremont, California. Yeah. So that was the spot, man. Huh? You have a? Did you have a good crowd? How? How'd it go? Actually, that was probably one of the best crowds I had. Mm. Um, at, you mean just at that time? You know, like yeah. for that particular spot. Mm. So it went really good. Um, really good. Yeah. So what's really good? Did you have? Did you? Plant your face into the butt cheeks of another woman. Was it that good? No, that's not what happened. That's no. <laughs> I, I was just that, ask, that wasn't I, part of the show. I was I was just asking. <laughs> I was just asking how good was the show because you said it was good. No, it was nah. good. Um, what, what you know, my consideration of a good show would be fucking. You know, you see a thousand cameras out there. Oh, thousand cameras. Okay, yeah. it was it was shine time yeah. on your birthday, Cleve. On my birthday, out there shining. I got happy birthday sang to me by the crowd. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's out of body experience. Out of body <laughs> experience. Well, you know, we did another show. Um, you know, me and Lenny. It was popping. Is this is there something wrong, Cleve? Okay, everything cleaves over here. Uh, checking the levels, making sure everything's okay. You're making me a little nervous. You might be, might be trying just to good. sabotage me just in case I ether him Doing again. Doing my engineer thing. All right, all right. 
So a lot's been going on in the news. Woo! Lots been going on in the news. Uh, a lot of, a lot of disturbing uh, stuff uh, come has been coming out of hip hop the last few years. You know. Um, Speak on it. You know the Africa Bambada thing was just Ooh. crazy to me, right? Africa Bambada, <clears throat> Took a, a, nigga a, a, from D, surprise. a a DJ, uh, a DJ from the Bronx. Um, uh, many many men have came out and uh, accused him of sexually molesting them as youngsters on their way up, and you know everybody knows the story of Africa Bambada. Um, and then you know KRS One defending africa bambata right many of people coming out you know you know saying that this man has harmed them and everything and somebody like krs1 who is they call, he calls himself the teacher mm. said you know basically co-signing africa bambata still you know and kind of co-signing the uh fuckery and the acts that he was uh into you know i don't want to go too deep into africa bam dusky right you know um but re- most recently, uh, uh, Kid Creole, uh, a member of uh, Grandmaster Flash uh, in the Furious Five, he was charged Wednesday with stabbing a homeless man to death. Uh, that, this is the light skinned nigga with the perm. Yeah, he got the perm. Uh, uh, you know, right. fried, dyed, laid to the side. <laughs> uh, he about 55 years old. Mm you know so he got to so what, like what did the homeless man do did he did he try to man i don't i don't know what the homeless man did but the oh, come on a nigga just stabbed a nigga for nothing well the, the, the he just got arrested on wednesday today is friday okay uh so no more, details? More, more details haven't came out that i know of okay uh i just know that this man was arrested in the way that they found that they arrested him uh was because of uh, uh surveillance cameras on the streets mm Mm, they got you. They got you. All types of um, uh, former uh, hip hop guys uh, from the, you know, from the humble beginnings be going down in such weird fashion like this. You know, um, it almost shows, you know, that there's really no examples uh, that these old uh, hip hop guys that the pioneers that's why that's why hip hop doesn't respect the pioneers mm. because they because when you you know when you come up you know you've come up in this uh in this in this music industry in this hip hop game okay uh when when we meet when we meet our um our heroes uh our rap heroes when we meet the guys that you know we thought were ill has been very few times where I've been still feel that way about that person. It's like it's m- much times where I meet the person and then they, and then they, you know what I'm saying the motherfucker got on Sean Clefter he wearing flip flops and his 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 his, 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 his feet are ashy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He got the ashy. Just, he got ashy coarse feet, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying he broke. You know what I'm saying he asking for a discount on something. You know what I'm saying he got he got he got the white around his mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's been they, one one person, or sometimes they I'll be say rude. one one person that I've met, just like you said, from my childhood, mm-hmm. and was a respectable person. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I saw I saw Too Short, and he was great. I saw Too Short, he was great. Um, I met Too Short. Yeah, yeah, uh, too Short, Too Short, probably cool. on the same occasion. Uh, same occasion. Yeah, I don't know if it was the same day, but yeah, well, similar. Yeah, same same time. Right, right, right. And, and same time. He, and he too was, short. Definitely is an OG. He doesn't act real like, laid back. I mean, cool. Too short can act arrogant if he wants to. He interacts, but, but with he people. doesn't. You know. Yeah, he took he take pictures with you if you ask him. I mean, I don't personally ask ask man no, to no, take no. pictures yeah, with him. I, but, I, I, you know what I mean? Want no pictures with no niggas? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the words of uh, uh, the famous words. Of the, Michael the, Jordan. The famous words. I don't of, want no pictures with no niggas. <laughs> yeah, in the famous words of Michael Jordan. Oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. I don't take no pictures with no niggas. Shout out to Michael Jordan. Man. Um, but yeah, man. So um, I just think that like the pioneers kind of haven't set a good example. 
It's from the beginning. I'll say Obviously, that. you got you got you got the people in, you know uh, people in the Zulu nation ignoring the fact that Africa Bambata has been raping little boys. Look, the thing is for for years. <laughs> you got murderers, drug dealers, all of this stuff. They're going down. Left and right, the pioneers. And then I, I, see, I seen Rappin' Forte looking like a dope fiend. I seen Rappin' Forte on two occasions. And not one of them occasions where I was like, damn, that, hell yeah, man, Rappin' Forte. Man, one time I seen him and I didn't even know he was there. And all of a sudden, some like some crackhead white dude come up. You know what I'm saying? Some crackhead white dude come up, moving fast, talking, <laughs> chewing an invisible I seen one sandwich. one of those the other day. He chewing it, chewing an invisible sandwich, <laughs> jaw wiggling. Man, I know his stores that ain't even open. You know what I'm saying? Looking at looking out the curtains, uh, that kind of dude, right? And he and he, he stank, and he, you know he already bugging me. And then I look over to see who he with, and it's rapping forte. Looking just as cold as a white dude. Looking just as bad. And, man, I, it broke my heart, man. Mm. It broke my damn heart. Mm. Rapping Forte. The Drake money didn't do nothing? I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. I don't, I don't know what he's doing, man. I don't even know what type of drug that is. If it's crystal meth or, or one of them things. Something, something got him gone, allegedly. Okay. I don't know if he, he might even have you know mental problems. That's what the, you know. Usually the white folks get away and say, "Oh no, he just got a mental problem. You know, he's bipolar." <laughs> but, <laughs> but he he can be bipolar. I just but gave it, Ernie the coldest look. But his lips is white, <laughs> boy. <laughs> the nigga ain't lying. Rapper Forte lips white, boy. A nigga can easily just say, "Give give." If you see Rapper Forte, give him some Vaseline. Put him on his lips. You know what I'm saying? Give him a, a bottle of water, and tell him somebody tell him to get some help. You know. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know he used to work on my toes on a mink rug. That was smooth shit, right? That was that was tight, man. That was my shit. That was smooth shit, right? Just working my toes on the mink rug. That's how we do it at the players club. What was the other one? Uh, I'll be around. Tell me that wasn't the uh, slap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> like, I, give me a verse I, from I, that. I was, I was never a big rapping forte guy. I know. I, I was I, that, but he, the nigga had slaps though. Yeah, I was never really a big rapping forte I guy, but I always respected rapping forte. You know, like oh man, you know that you, era. You, you, niggas used to really go back and fucking go get like OG artists. Right, like like how you know Snoop go back get Charlie Wilson and, and and like whoever the fuck niggas used to go back and really have these niggas playing replaying the samples, nigga. Mm. It ain't it wasn't no real, you know niggas stealing your shit off YouTube or any of that shit. You no. used to really go fuck with these niggas. Yeah, yeah, you used to go have to actually go have to holler at them, and then sometimes that person <laughs> even come to the studio and mess with you, or you know, you could depending on how cool you was. You couldn't but I, be no, you couldn't I be think, no little Uzi Vert. I, I, I think so. I think that the pioneers, I think that the pioneers, uh, uh, Run DMC, uh, fucking Eric B and Rakim, mm. uh, um, Russell Simmons, EPMD, EPMD, the Beastie Boys, uh, all those guys. No, not EPMD, not EPMD. I'm talking about the pioneers of hip hop. So before EPMD, whoa, I'm talking about before EPMD. I'm whoa. I'm talking about before EPMD. Okay, okay. okay. I'm talking Cool Herc. Uh, you Bam- talking about the '70s joint, '70s into '80s, right? Into so, early '80s. Into early '80s, right? We're not talking about no. We're not talking about '89. We're not talking so, so, about so, yeah. So 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 follow my timeline. I'm following. So I'm talking you. Okay, those guys. Okay, okay. okay. Those no, guys. No disrespect. Those guys that started the game. You know, mm. I think that when they started the game, I think they should have put some type of council in, mm. in place. There should have been a hip hop council to where you know people like Africa I think Bambata, they tried to it just went in the people wrong like direction. People like Bambata could be ousted <laughs> from the council. Like people like Am- Africa Bambata, if you if you get caught raping little boys, you should you should be. But this didn't should, come out till be, like right now though. I mean, but if the but but, but when it came out, <laughs> when that, that shit was but, going but, on, but when it but when niggas it came, was scared exactly, and when it came out, people were like, yeah, we knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we knew. knew. Yeah, we knew. Yeah, that, we that was knew. cold, man. That was cold, man. You knew that. You know that man was in there violating them little boys. Yeah, we knew. You know. You just fucked me up right now. 
That's what they were saying, man. Just go. Uh, check out. Uh, Everybody knew. Uh, Everybody yeah, just, knew. Just Rick check like out. All, shit. Yeah, just check out all the interviews. A uh, uh, star, uh, Troy Terrain. Uh, Everybody knew, though. He is yeah, what I'm saying. That's what they used to say. Yeah, yeah. People knew. You know, uh, people knew he, he was he was a Bati boy. You know, a Chi Chi man. African Bad Body is a Chi Chi man, and. Uh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> and and uh and he should have been ousted for that uh pedophilia that he was into oh, man i'm telling you y- y- you're really about to fuck a bunch of people's lives up from and, that era like <laughs> yeah and you got and, and, and then you and got I, and you pause got the, y'all yeah <laughs> and then you got this other guy kid creole grandmaster flash and furious five Grandma, niggas Gra- out. grandmaster Homeless flash niggas. grandmaster flash just recently wrote in his book that that he was uh infatuated and had a relationship with a 16 year old girl when he was you know what i mean in his heyday and he was like in his 30s or whatever you know he just wrote that in his book hey look niggas been old to me <laughs> you know and and, and and this is just crazy man that 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 you know, this is just, this is horrible for hip hop. I think I don't think this is a good look that this guy Kid Creole uh, just stabbed a homeless man repeatedly in the stomach. Why are you stabbing a homeless man repeatedly yeah, like, in the so stomach? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. Was it some type of like what happened? It was, the nigga just re- just was, I'm, 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 was, I feel like I'm a stab a nigga right now. Was Kid Creole a homeless man? I don't. You never know with these rap guys. I mean, he, but his perm was fried, dyed, and laid to the side in the mugshot. So, uh, I doubt that he was homeless uh, being laid like that. He was still laid. Mm. Mm. But mm. did he, did, did, mm. did, what did, what, you know, what did this homeless man see? Did he see this man m- murder somebody else? You know, Kid Creole allegedly stabbed this man repeatedly. I mean, he was trying to kill him. And they got you on tape. How you gonna get out of this one? And how are we gonna say that, oh, the, the beginning of hip hop, guys weren't like that. They were respectable. They weren't like Ice Cube and these guys now. That's what they used to say when, when I was little. About, oh no, the beginning. Oh, right, right, right. The, 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 the rappers. First the, niggas. Yeah, you should have been more like when the gangster rap came out, they would be like, oh, you should have been more like the. Uh, you should have been more like, you know, uh, Grandmaster Flash and, and Bambada and them. Nah, man. The peaceful pro- protest. Nah, now you can now you, now <laughs> you know what I'm saying. When the uh, when the clouds part, the sky shows its true colors. You know. I don't know, man. I don't mean to dump on the old old generation of hip hop, but I'm not fucking with you right now. Y'all let that stuff get over. Y'all let that stuff go by the wayside, man. Murderers and pedophiles. I, I, I can deal with the drug dealing. I can deal with that. Everybody likes drugs. You know? Nah, but that's, see, that's part of the problem. Everybody likes drugs, but it doesn't matter the genre. It's, it, you know, that's just the music business in Hollywood. That's and all, part of all, the problem, though. All, oh, 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 okay. Cleve over here talking about it's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. So, so Cleve, Cle- oh, so Cleve never done a drug. Because what do you think fucking is going on right now? There's a bunch of crack grandbabies at this point. I mean, I, I mean, crack grandbaby. Yes, grandbabies, Is it, great grandbabies. All damn near. You know, take a expl- step expl- Explain yourself. Come on, man. I mean, like everybody was doing what they was doing. Doing what? Nigga, you're talking about in the eighties. In the eighties. Okay. You got to think. Uh, but that's about, uh, but that that's you. You saying so? That's I'm talking about the parents at that time. <laughs> In the the motherfuckers that was riding with Bambada and them. That's what I'm saying. And then it, who come? You know who comes after that? Us. Right. Us. But, so. Mm-hmm. Us and then I, you know they mind is already clouded, and then it's like we we're damn near effects of all that. And then it's like even further than that. It's like you're you're dealing with another like these '90s know. kids. I don't know. I can't. I don't think you can just broad stroke and say that everybody's a crack baby. I'm not saying everybody's a crack baby, but I'm saying everybody from that era, from that. That's us. Yeah. A good portion of you. What you gonna say? 
I don't. Is it more or less? <laughs> I I see I see more I see more of the um. Is it more motherfuckers like you and I, or is it more motherfuckers out there crack motherfucking grandbabies? Yeah, that's what. Well, <laughs> like, that's then you got a good point. You got a good. That's point. all I gotta say. I just think that I don't know. I don't, I don't even think that the, I think that the culture now is not even. You know, I think that it's in a good place. You know, I did a lot of old man ranting about how these kids need to pull, you know get it together and stop it with the mumble jump mumbo mumbo jumbo. Uh, but I think I've I think I've turned a new leaf. Okay. And um, I I I don't personally like it. Um, but I don't, I don't mind it. It's just like, uh, you know, you remember, you know, who Cab Calloway is. I do. And all those guys. Who, okay, I do. All those guys. Uh, who is another guy who does like the scatting? Skippy the bop, skip. You know, them people do that kind of singing. Yeah, that's that's kind of like what this. That's kind of like what the mumble rap is. That was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know what they I saying. Mean, but it's like mo- mean, it's like modern that's, day. That's, it's like modern day scatting. That's where I was at with this whole like Joe Budden's little yachty thing. It was like Joe Budden, little yachty. Little yachty doesn't bother me like that because we're in two different fucking categories. Yeah. He doesn't bother me like that. I don't know why the fuck Joe Buttons was getting bent out the fuck out of shape. I mean, I I oh, I, I understand why. why? He, I understand why. He why? Was. But I'm just saying, because he could fucking do a song and, and get what you saying across, and well, I mean, like, he just two two, just, two minutes, and well, then you got to take a six well, Joe, minutes to Joe do a song. Bud- like Joe Budden, the rapper. If you don't know what we're talking about, Joe Budden, the rapper. I said and, Buttons. And, 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 I threw the ass on there. Well, his name is Joe Budden, so we're calling him <laughs> Joe Budden. He's a rapper, and he's on my little yachty, who's a rapper. He's not a rapper. And Joe Budden, he's not. Was stop, ye- was yelling. Stop it right there. Joe Budden was yelling. The nigga's not oh, a rapper. Let me let me finish. The nigga's sing. Does harmonies? He ain't done one rap song. Has he? Are you gonna throw him in that category too? I, whatever he, <laughs> it's 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 under rap music. It's what it's under. No, That's, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That's the genre. It's who under. says it? Go look at who. Look, look up. Look says up the, the fuck who you says the man. Fuck says, the man. All right. So so, <laughs> Cle- so Cle- fuck the man. So Cleve says. Cleve says what he says. That nigga's not in the same genre of music I do. Go ahead, Cleve is shine time. Maybe I'm somewhere else. Go ahead, else. Cleve shine time. I want to be the big nigga on the show. Okay, go ahead, Cleve. Shine, Cleve is shine time, baby. Who says who? Is all I'm saying. Well, if you if you look up um, if you look up Lil Yachty in Spotify, iTunes, uh, uh. He's under the rap he's, genre. He'll be under the genre of rap. So okay. that's why I have to say he's a rapper. He's not a rapper though. Because if somebody want, if somebody wanted to find who he was, they would have to look under I rap. I can't say that. He don't got that many rap so, songs. So, so um, <laughs> Joe Budden was was yelling at Lil Yachty and trying to chastise this young man because he didn't, he wasn't into hip hop. He wasn't into it because he's not in it, and he's yeah, and, and, <laughs> he's not. And, and Joe Budden was he was just bitter about that because Joe Budden loves hip hop culture, as Look, as a lot of us do. Here's the problem, and here comes Cleve with the mumble rap. He's a Cleve is a here's the problem. Cleve y'all. is a new generation mumble rap Look, apologist. He, he doesn't. Little Yachty don't want to be in hip hop. Joe Budden's don't want him to be in hip hop. We don't want him in hip hop. Why is he? Like, I, I don't, he, I don't, we don't, don't. I don't mind him. I don't. Mind I don't him. mind him either. We've, so, had, we've had worse. So, what the fuck is the problem? There's no problem. There's Why no problem. are you Lil, like Lil, taking Lil, the time and Lil, fucking Lil Yachty, losing your mind over Lil, this nigga? Lil, Lil Yachty is shining uh, right now. He's been, I seen him in a target. They were I seen smarter a, than a lot of these niggas. Hold on, hold on. I seen him in a target. I'm sure I Joe Budden had a bunch commercial. of opportunity to do a bunch of shit. Cleve, hold on. But I, I seen him in a I seen him in a Target commercial. Yeah, this kid is shining. Uh, uh, for right now. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it. Why, why oh. Joe Budden didn't do a, a tar- Target commercial? Uh, he doesn't seem like a Target type of guy. He, he's light skinned He could have did the shit. <laughs> he yeah. could have did the shit. Like he would have looked perfect in the vest and the whole shit. Why he I didn't get that money? Why he didn't get that money? 
Tell me. I can't see Joe Budden uh, making a Target jingle. I and, can't either. And, and, but, Lil, and Lil Yachty made a Target but, jingle. Middle now, America now, now, and now, if you think making a Target jingle is cool. I don't think it's cool. It is cool. But it, get it, your money. What are you complaining about? Nobody's complaining. He's we, mad that Lil Yachty's making money on doing some dumbass shit that he didn't do. Mm. <laughs> is what I think. See, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Joe Budden guy. Uh, I like him. Uh, I'm looking at it objectively. Uh, Lil Yachty, uh, he's doing what he's doing. It's not gonna last long. So it's not I don't understand. Music. I don't understand why Joe Budden uh, get, get so moved. Uh, when he got understand. moved when they were arguing. I don't see how he got so moved because uh, Lil Yachty. They're I mean, not the same next, thing. Ne- next year at this time, we're gonna say, remember Lil Yachty. Joe Budden be spitting. Joe Budden. Okay, the nigga goes in. Yeah, but he he you know you can't you you can't think it's hip hop is all yours because it's not all yours and I had to I had to come to that realization hip hop is not mine it's or every, mine it's or mine. everybody's it's the it's 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 the voice of the youth mm. you know it's Speak the voice it. it's the voice of the youngsters so whatever however they want to do it they want to do it and they're giving it they're giving it to you all this mumble rap stuff they give it to you like that but then they hit you hard with J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar and Big Crit and guys like that like mm. they will hit you over the mouth mm. uh, with some guys uh, mm. some, these new guys will uh, rock your fucking head off these Joey Badasses and uh, these, uh, these other spitters come uh, on that Who these else? guys got. Uh, I think ASAP Rocky is a, is, is, a, a, is, is, is a young one. Come on. Uh, um, da- Dave East is is brutal on that Come on. microphone. Come on. Um. Who else? So it's a bunch of young guys. Oh, I'm over here trying to pass. Cleave trying, the tree. You gonna have me over here? Something on some else. Uh, but yeah, so it's a lot of young hitters out here um, that'll get on that'll get on some of these old timers heads, and some of these old timers know it. That's why. They always on tracks with these guys that I'm talking about. But why? Why are they so focused on the the weak nigga? And then just like you, how many you named about ten people and that are dope, dope as fuck, right? That are dope. come on. You named that, about ten people that, right that the fuck there, yep. and it's like, yeah, I didn't even say get on like I didn't say pick Prince a fight or with some Sean nigga your own this. size, my nigga. Right. So. <laughs> like, um, but I don't. But I don't think that they were. I mean, those guys are. And, and I'm they, not trying those, to start beef. I'm those not guys to start are. Beef. Those guys are to their acceptance, right? Okay. Those guys are accepted because but, it's like why. But see, the same thing. Joe Joe Budden like the bullshit too. That nigga like motherfuckers like the XXX whatever the fuck his name this, is. Temptation. Or, this all ties in. <laughs> like, so this all ties in to the beginning of of what I was saying about hip hop. Right. About how there needs right. to be a council. There needs to be a council. Because if there was a council, somebody they could they could make something where hey, Lil Yachty uh, is this. This is a different whole different category. Lil Yachty and niggas over here don't worry about that. Right. And, and I mean but there <laughs> can be there can be, you know, a, a panel of, of, of bosses, you know, whether it be Russell Simmons, right, right, uh, right. Uh, Rick Rubin and, and, and guys who came Dame up. Dame Dash you know, thrown up in there. You know what I'm saying? Rev Ron, whoever. Whoever. Um, just a council, you know, and and just come together. That shit would be dope because it could be regulations to where you know hip hop could be better. But see, y'all, and, y'all. You can, and you can and you can weed out people. You know what I'm saying? Praying on praying on kids. Old, old niggas didn't want to see us flossing and, and doing our thing. No, but that's, that's the problem. See, yeah, that's they the didn't problem. want to see us. Pulling up in Bentleys or doing our thing and, and, and the whole shit. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Black people ain't never united. Crabs in the that, fucking that's, bucket. That, that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, it could be something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like. I feel like niggas didn't want to see us shine. Like, cause uh, they, they went through some shit. You can't front at the same time. I mean. I mean, they started the, they started the genre. It didn't. I mean, but that wasn't easy. That yeah, was what they was dealt. Them niggas would stop teaching inner city schools instruments and shit yeah but i mean what they, they have but, to do but, you got to grab the turntable but they came but they came up with something <laughs> yeah they came, they came up with something but it was like something. they wanted to make sure it was extra hard for us i don't know i, don't, I, I, I feel can't, like they can't wanted to that. make sure it was that like I can't, we, I can't, y'all, y'all didn't go with, do what we did i can't say that because i can say that the ogs try to you know what i mean because they, they could just do what they could is hip-hop is just the babies leading the babies it's not like but at the same time it's, it's, it's like no if direct, you see a speed bump in the it's road the, it's the youngest genre 
it's it's the youngest genre in music. It's the youngest genre in music, and um, right now it's the most popular genre in music. All of a sudden, hip hop, and um, there you have it, man. Like the youngsters, the youngsters have spoken. You know, and we have no panel. So we have, you know, so now you have guys prancing you, around with dre- got, dresses and, and purses, wearing lipstick, man twerking, bags. man bag. Yeah, they, those, they, they, that's what they call them. They, yeah. It's a purse, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, you call it, oh, I'm a duffel bag. No, man, you got a purse, homie. Knock that shit the fuck that, off. That that's a, a motherfucking purse. purse. Yeah. Hold my purse for me real quick. You look the crazy. The fuck you got in that? You know, oh, it's Gucci. I don't care what it is. It's a purse. It's Go Yard. My lady got one of them. But knock that shit the fuck off. Girls yo. be looking at you like, oh, I got the same bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they ain't lying. Shit. Man, oh, you got Colin Kaepernick on the wall. Vernon Davis. Cap. That's what I wanted to get into. Cap. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick. Can't get a job. Come on. Oh, say can you see? Colin Kaepernick cannot get a job in the NFL. Are you kidding me? John Harbaugh of the Baltimore Ravens. John Harbaugh is an NFL coach. He's a head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, he knows a little bit about football. I would say he knows a lot about football. He's he's won he's won a Super Bowl as a head coach. And Ozzie Newsom is the GM of the Baltimore Ravens. He knows a little something about football. They both said, "Hey, our quarterback has a, a back injury. We don't know if a back injury might come back. We need a, a strong backup quarterback. We're down to sign Colin Kaepernick. They bring it to the." The owner, he says, ooh, I don't know about that one. So the whole time people have been arguing when it comes to Colin Kaepernick that it's all about his play on the field. That's why he hasn't got signed because he sucks. His play on the field sucks. That's why he hasn't got signed. But that just shows you right there that it's not about your play on the field. When the coach and the GM say they want to sign you and the owner says no. And the owner said no because he, uh, he did a, 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 what was like a town hall amongst uh, Ravens fans, season ticket holders. So it was a bunch of white people in there that he was asking. And they, of course, they was all opposing him or whatever. But you know what's crazy to me is that the city of Baltimore is 60, 64% black. And with no black people in that town hall. They, wire, he, y'all, the wire. He knows that, he knows that if, if, if he would have let the, the, the real city of Baltimore in there, that it would have been a totally different story. You have to follow the money. They would have, yeah, they would have turned up for Kaepernick. Um... He's like a hero to black people, ain't he? He's like a he's like a little superhero. They want to see him on the field. Colin Kaepernick. Mm. I know he's he, that motherfucker can run. How, uh, how old is is Colin right now? He's 30, 29, 29, I think. Youngster. Yeah, he's still young. Um he's still They're not going to let him fucking get back on the field so he's ready to get the fuck back out, right? Like or that, just like, I mean, the nigga too old or something. No, 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 no. No, what's crazy is they they're just not signing him because he took a knee. I understand uh, that, uh, but I'm saying that niggas going to come to that realization, damn. They already have. And they the, the 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 speaking has already been done. Okay. And um The Dolphins, uh, Ryan Tannehill just went down yesterday with a knee injury. uh, And now the the Miami Dolphins are discussing bringing in Jay Cutler or Colin Kaepernick. Jay Cutler right now had just signed a a, a deal with with Fox Sports as a a commentator. He took Phil Simms' job. Um, 
So Jay Cutler, NFL quarterback, who's known for throwing interceptions. Jay Cutler is known for throwing interceptions, right? Um, what did he play for? Huh? What team he play for? He played for the Broncos, and he played for the Bears. Right? And he's known for throwing interceptions. Colin Kaepernick, uh, amongst quarterbacks in NFL history who have thrown at least 1,500 passes, Colin Kaepernick ranks seventh in a touchdown to interception ratio. So Seventh all time. All nigga. time. And he doesn't have a job. That's not saying that he's really good. That's not saying like, he, oh, Colin Kaepernick's better than everybody all time. No, that's saying that he's good enough to have a fucking job. And you telling me that these Top fuck- 10. He's number seven all fucking time. Top 10. My all is. time. Now, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say about that stat, you don't have that fucking stat. And, and, and a bunch of other quarterbacks don't have that stat either. Peyton Manning doesn't have that stat. A bunch of other people are below him. So for you to just say, oh, he sucks. That's why he has to have a job. You're wrong. Come on, man. That's not why. Why don't you just admit why? You know, all these girls hating on Colin Kaepernick now. It's crazy to me. All these women hating on Colin Kaepernick now. All these white girls hating on Colin Kaepernick saying he's a disgrace, this and that. When fucking in 2012, they was posting posting pictures of his ESPN uh, nude photos. Ooh, Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. Men, men's edition. We have, or whatever. Women's edition it's, it's, or something. It's ESPN, I don't know. It's, it's ESPN the magazine. The swimsuit edition. ESPN the magazine does a... Uh, Calendar niggas. No, they, <laughs> they, they, they do... Every year they do a, a, where all the athletes is naked or whatever, right? And, you know, whatever, man. Girls with finger popping they self Niggas to Colin Kaepernick. on the, the six-pack and shit. Or yeah. All these girls was lusting all over Colin Kaepernick. They were. They lied. They lied if they said they wasn't. They were. Lusting over the black man, the man Dinko. <laughs> Probably wanted to do all kind of dirty things with him. And then he took a knee and said, I'm standing up for my people. And now everybody calling them a disgrace. And, you know, and they riding with him. I think it's very funny and very hypocritical. And it shows you where this country is. You know, very divided. Very divided. How can you say this man don't deserve a job? That's a, this is a, some boy stay in your place shit. That's what Richard Sherman said. Richard Sherman for the, uh, for the uh, Seattle Seahawks said, this is a, uh, this is a me- the message here is boy stay in your place. And, you know, he was speaking some real shit when he said that. Mm. You know, Ray Lewis out here cooning, shucking, and jiving out here. Did you see the memes of Ray Lewis? No, I didn't. Oh, man. They got the meme with Ray Lewis. They got a meme with Ray Lewis hugging the Ravens owner. And, mm-hmm. and, and they got, uh, uh, um, what's the name? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. What's, what's it? Oh, I can't remember his name in, um, in Django. But he got a picture of uh, uh, Samuel, Django. L. Samuel L. Jackson holding Leonardo DiCaprio when he's dying. It's like a, the same picture. It's hilarious. Damn. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a real cold game out there uh, for Colin Kaepernick, man. And, and I, I hope the guy can get on the, get on the field, man. It'll be, it, be exciting if he can get on that field and, uh, and play some ball. Um, it'd be like he, like he like the little superhero for black people, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? They rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for him. Uh, not for, I'm not even rooting for him for tribal black reasons. I'm rooting for him because I'm always with I'm I'm always gonna root for the guy that people are hating on hating on and they don't deserve to be hated on. Colin Kaepernick does not deserve your hate and your frustration and for you to be calling him all these fucking names. He doesn't deserve any of that. He's done nothing wrong, committed no crimes, hurt no people. Took a knee. He took a knee. And, and he, and he provide and he provided uh, education for kids, backpacks for kids, sent food to Somalia. Went to find his his uh, roots in uh, Ghana. Mm. 
You know what I mean? And I think that's I think that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I don't understand why he shouldn't have a job for doing stuff like that. When this guy's in the league, you know, that, uh, you know, been raping people, killing people, raping people and killing people, allegedly. What is all that music? I hear I hear noise out there. Something Somebody going on in the streets of Oakland. My fault. Right? Somebody getting pulled over in the streets of Oakland. Yeah. So we out here, man. Uh, it was crazy. Before the show started, we had uh, Mike Watts. HBK CJ, or he go by CJ, but he's from the HBK uh, Heartbreak Gang crew, and uh, the singer Kienzi. Now they were in here, and uh, we were just vibing out. They were in here freestyling. We were listening to some new tracks from some folks, and uh, the show got delayed a little bit, but it was cool. We got a nice little vibe going. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoned, but uh, everything is, you know, going going good. Um, Colin Kaepernick should have a job. Cleve, are you fading away on me? Are you no. still with me? I'm um, right here, my nigga. Cleve is right here with me. I just recently seen Colin Kaepernick with uh, J Cole. Mm. Mm, he out there on the road. J Cole, J Cole, real positive rapper. I like J Cole, man. I don't really uh, like his music that much. Why not? But I like his. I like. I like what he stands for. I like. You his don't vibe. like his music. No, I, I. I do like when he go hard. I like when he go real hard. You know, but sometimes like when he be making radio songs, I can't mess with his radio. No, I like his music. I don't like his radio songs. Mm. I like J Cole's music. I don't like his radio songs. I don't like when he was fucking. Um, uh, singing Paula Abdul and shit on his shit. Okay. That was weak, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, it was. It mm, was. I, I like how he went recently because he he was like almost like like he was gonna go to full blown bitch for a second, and then he came he came back like hold on, let me bring it back. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he started Take, off with the who that who that yeah cold <laughs> cold world who that who that when he started with, with off the with that the, yeah man, and I'm like God damn this thing of fire. J Cole is dope, man. Uh, he had a great couple mixtapes going on, and then you know, I haven't listened in a long time. But I, I feel like you ain't listening in a long time. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not and not just him. He's not the only one. I mean, once you're good in my book, you're good in my book. Like I said, a couple episodes ago. What is what is up with uh? I'm just gonna go completely uh yes, let's off go. topic. Let's what's, go. what's up with Usher? You heard about Usher? Come. on. What's up with Usher, man? Now let me let me double back <laughs> one time. Is Usher was good in my book at one point. Is he still good in your book? After the, what I'm just hearing, I don't know. I mean, are these just accusations? I mean, are they accusations? I, I heard he paid somebody out. Oh, say word. Paid somebody out. Paid somebody out. So I'm like, oh. uh, so uh. Usher is allegedly walking around here uh, with dirty blood. Balls on fire. Mm. Dirty genitals. That sucks, man. Sure does. And you over there passing it? Mm. You the host you the host virus to these bras? And I, I just recently uh heard this morning uh his wife sticking by his side. Look, his his, his wife's sticking by his side, I heard. She says she ain't got nothing. But the thing is, it's like, man, you a nigga of that caliber, man. Pay for some cleaner bitches. Mm, but what if he got burnt way back in the 90s? I don't know. Is that something that she flares up? She ain't got nothing. That's why she's sticking by his side. That's why? Or is she She ain't got nothing. So what she mean she ain't got nothing? He been fucking with her obviously before he was fucking well, I mean, with she, other bitches. She got the she got you know she got a, a nice lifestyle that she lives. Of That's what she, I'm saying. Niggas she need to start clean, paying course, for some cleaning. Of, of course she gonna say what she gotta say. Okay, sure. I don't think I don't think she she would leave. I don't think she would leave. Mm. Necessarily, I think that she gonna say what she need to say. 
Tiger rep, you gotta pay for another ring or nothing. Tiger or, 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 or Kobe. My oh, uh, I was about to say my Tiger. Is I mean, it cut? And Tiger, Tiger bitch didn't, didn't left. She it's t- a rap. Well, she had the bread too because it's uh, a rap. She had the bread because she was buying. She bought him a uh. She got it. She bought him a car when his car got repoed. Yeah. His car got repoed on TMZ, Damn. and and she bought him another car. Damn. How you fucked that up? How you Ooh. fuck? How you fucked that up? I don't care who talking shit about me. A girl do something like that for you? I mean, come on, man. I don't know what type of relationship they have, and I know I know that's a whole nother like that's like Twilight Zone for me. That fucking Kardashian world. <laughs> People come out of that different. French Montana seem to come out cool. French Montana still hot. French Montana got the hottest, one of the hottest joints in the country right now. Man. French that dude. Huh? That's all right. Huh? Cleve? Yeah. That's all right. Huh? Huh? You know what I'm saying? Coke boys, baby. Coke boys, baby. (laughs) French Montana. He came out of that Kardashian shit cool. I mean. French is. Chinks. Chinks drugs. Oh, man. Rest in peace. He would have been dope, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of rappers. And it's a lot of rappers, man, that died before anybody could really know. Cause you know we hear about cause we're super into hip hop. So, yeah. so we hear about we hear about these uh these rappers like you know before years. Be, life years before they die. Like there's rappers that were never blew up and, and, and then after they died, people would be like, Oh, do you know about this person? Mm. You know what I mean? We we were around, you know what I'm saying? We we remember Mossberg. Moss I was just thinking about Mossberg. Mossberg. Mossberg is one of those rappers. Now 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 Cleve, now Cleve Mossberg is a rapper uh from where Cleve? Uh Pomona, where is he from? Uh, Where's Mossberg from? Fuck, you know what? You're going to fuck me up. Um He's not from Compton. I know um you, you could be right. Pomona um shit, you, you fucked me up. I fucked you up, but he's a Southern California rapper who, Southern came, California. who came up under uh, DJ Quick, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, you, can you tell us a little bit about Mossberg? Man, Mossberg, um, I feel like he passed before 21 or around 21. What kind of song, what songs, what songs did he have? Did he have any um, songs? The Ring King. The that Ring. was a famous song. Uh, it, it made it on some video game. I forget which one. Okay. Um, Mossberg. He was on, on, on a... A bunch of DJ Quick shit. He died a lot. He died before his time. Uh, Big what? L. Big L. Big, Big L was a rapper who 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 was on his way to blow up. Uh, he Big, Big L is a, a rapper from Harlem, Harlem, uh, in New York City, mm. and or New York. But um, first place I'm going once I hit New York. I ain't never been there, y'all. Um, but yeah, that's where <laughs> Big L is from. And uh, you know he's had, had the famous uh. A ra- uh, freestyle uh, battle with Jay Z mm. uh, on, I think it was Bobito uh, on, on that show. Had that Jay Z looking crazy. That they used to have. Well, I mean, it was good. <laughs> they were both. They were both coming with it. You know, I'm fucking with y'all. Yeah, <laughs> they were both coming with it. But yeah, Big L and he was on his way to blow up, and uh, he was uh, uh, fatally shot by his his brother. That's some old Marvin Gaye shit. Uh, or, or not? Not like really. Roger and Zap. Not quite like Marvin Gaye. Um, I got the Marvin Gaye right. dad took him out. Roger and Zap's dad. Zap. Or what you talking Ro- about Roger and Zap for? I, whatever you're talking about, I have no clue. I thought Roger Trotman just suddenly passed. Oh, come on. But I I, no, I know he, about he Marvin Gaye. Out. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye dad. Uh, Not, Marvin Gaye's dad was a preacher. And he, he went up in there. Marvin Gaye was high on high on blow. Um... Probably. I would have took his ass out too. And, 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 and he went in there. He went in there with the oop and did the Lord's work. Mm. You know, Marvin Gaye. And then so uh, yeah, man. A lot of these uh, uh, rappers just uh, be gone uh, instantly. They had the one. What's the other guy? Um, Chinks, right? Chinks. Chinks was incredible. Um, Cleaver, you blanking on me? No, I would, that was. You thinking of, for you? Of, of 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 rappers who were uh, gone uh, too soon? Yeah. Um, Tupac Shakur. Who else? Uh, 
But he was already blown up. He, the nigga Biggie, had like Biggie nine, on, ten Big, albums, Big, nine or ten Big, albums before Biggie, he, the nigga gone. Yeah, but he was 25. That's Big, what I'm saying. Biggie was 24. And Biggie was 24 with more of a realistic... Uh, more of a realistic um, catalog for somebody who was 24. He had he had an album, he had an he had an album and a double disc album. When the la la hits, yeah. you niggas just split. You know uh, who <laughs> um, had so hard that your head can't fit you. Yeah, man, that was, <laughs> he was he was a young man, you know, and uh, it was some, it was a lot of it was a lot of guys in in hip hop. Um, Doe was a guy named Doe uh, was who was a T.I. I didn't get into too much. He had, he had the, the eye patch. So something was already crazy. That kid was, that kid was alright. he got popped in the eye or something. Yeah, but he got took out, man. He yeah. got taken out? Yeah, in public. Mm. 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 Dollar. That's who I was thinking Oh, yeah. Do- oh, Dollar. He got, Dollar. He got took down in a... In a uh, I, look, I did a show with this with do- nigga. The, what did the song with Dollar sing? Cleve, please tell me. I don't who, who, fucking... Man, he see, doesn't even know he... Please, Cleve, who is Dollar? I don't be drinking the, from the family youth like these niggas say. I be... Yeah. But I did do a show with the nigga Dollar. Who is Dollar? Dollar is from Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. He was out in LA at the time. And... Uh, cool ass individual i mean you, it's rare that you meet somebody that's cool as fuck like we were saying earlier that was a mo- another person that i did meet that was cool as fuck i did a show with him and and he got chopped down in a parking lot uh, at uh beverly center mm-hmm. i was in southern california at the time because like yeah. i said we did a show and i mean this was in maybe this was, a week or two this was later like 2006 2007 maybe a week or two later after i did a show with him the nigga got mm. took down mm. Shit was yep. crazy. Yep. And he's uh was was it was it some it was some beef, right? It was some there was some problems, right? Everybody I didn't even know him that well to know that he had problems like mm. that. Mm. But you popping that shit, I'm not saying mm. he was, but I mean, you know, just well, same thing like anybody. Well, you popping unfor- that shit, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't I'm not really sure who Dollar is, um, but I do remember hearing about a rapper named mm. Dollar getting chopped down. In the Beverly Center, uh, unfortunately, now uh, he's no longer with us and taking that eternal sleep um, that we all will take one day. Uh, but yes. Anyways, Cleve. Yes, sir. How did you like that montage? No, I thought it was bullshit. But uh, I mean. thought it was bullshit. <laughs> I just wanted to get that on uh, on camera. <laughs> Or on, on, nah, on I the mean, podcast. I, I, me personally, like I said, I mean, I I believe it when I see it. Is okay. the type of motherfucker I am. All right, so then we'll do it. If this show would last, if this show lasts, and we continue to do this show as old niggas, as old niggas as I mean, we're already more than halfway there. But I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. I believe the shit when I see it. If these motherfuckers, if a nigga don't come out. Gas and Kendrick through a motherfucking mm. like just off gate. Uh huh. A nigga from his block too. I don't know, man. You're speaking hypotheticals right now. Who we'll see? We'll see. Right. We will see. This guy's had ten Who years knows? of dominance. Cause muff, it's a you can't tell me it ain't a nigga at home studying this, the fuck out this. I'm nigga. not. I mean, but he has ten years of dominance. He he studied people too. Ten years of dominance. Um. Ten years. Kendrick. Uh, let's say about six. I give you that. Since his first album came out, right? So when's his I first album that. came out? Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, yeah, oh, six, seven years. Okay, ago. okay, okay. Right, okay. ten. That's a that's a bit of a stretch. I mean, I understand as old as nigga as I am, we want to hold on to the mo- to the motherfucker like real shit. We do. No, I mean, we want to hold on to him for our generation. We want to say that. I don't know if our generation or this next generation that fucking he's coming up in is going to hold on to him like that. You know, you ask around, you ask around we'll and you see. shall receive and you, you see how the young kids we'll feel. We'll see. Uh, you know what? I, I've heard a couple mixed reviews since this last show and you are definitely up. I'll say that even on my end. You see that? Bam, bam, bam. I ain't afraid to admit when I'm wrong. Mm. Mm. I ain't afraid. Mm. Iron came with the heat on this fool. 
<laughs> no real shit. Uh, you, you are definitely up. And, and Drop I, bombs on your moms. Kill call arms. I, I have a. Uh, I think you were up by about four. I got one. Mm. I okay. got one. Mm. Mm. One I person a, said. Uh, I think that's a. I think that's a five. I think that's a. That's a thing. I think that's a series. That's so a rap on a series. That's a. That's a. I don't know if I'm gonna come back from that one, y'all. <laughs> like, yeah. But we will see. But you let know, a nigga uh, come out tomorrow, huh? Let a nigga come out tomorrow. Yeah, I mean me. <laughs> like, so you gonna be singing a different song? I'll say that. So we gotta try to do some more uh, video stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, we might have something in the works uh, that we spoke about earlier. So uh, stay tuned. Okay. To what we got going on here. Uh, just be in earnest via the slideshow.com. Uh, it's been a pretty good show today, me and Cleve, yelling at each other. It's a total different always, dynamic. Always. It's a total different dynamic than when it's uh, me and Lenny. Y'all niggas be laid back off that. Lenny be laid back. Off I'm that just, turtle. I'm always like this. <laughs> Let Lenny be laid back, though. Uh, but that's why I like when he's in. But I can't wait till it's all three of us. Again in here. I by the tenth show, we're all, this is our eighth show, right? So however you feel about it, you know, if you like rap music, you you probably liked it. Uh, you probably yelled at it. Like you know, you might have thought it was boring. Uh, you might have been offended. Whatever. I just I'm just really glad you're listening, and uh, I really appreciate it. Um, this is our eighth show. Pretty soon we'll be on the tenth show because we've been pretty consistent with making these. And uh, we're coming up on the uh, ninth show, and we're gonna get the tenth show. At Lenny has a new store, hey, called the Trim Spot. The Trim Spot. D A T R I M Spot. The Trim Spot. Duh. Yeah. Trim Spot. So it's a clothing store, um, and the hub is in Vallejo, Ca- Vallejo, California. God. Damn it! Oh, Cleve's wife's calling. Oh, Cleve's Y'all Cleve's a battered this? Cleve's a battered husband. Y'all want to hear this? Hello, Cleve Cleve is allegedly a battered husband. Uh, um, we over here wrapping up this show. You're on the air. What you got to say? You gonna cuss me out on uh, uh, live? Oh, oh, oh. Cleve Cleve got a uh, Cleve got a swollen. What you say? Cleve got a swollen left eye. What you got to say? Yep. She hung up. On, uh. <laughs> she hung up. Cleve, you, are you a battered husband? Nigga, uh, Does your wife give you uppercuts and eye jammies? She could. Uh, you know, I'm a skinny does she, nigga. Does, does, she, does she smack does you? She's been working out. Does she I, smack I'm a skinny you nigga, but I, you know, I'm a stomp down pimp. Tell uh, you that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't get yourself in trouble. Dude, come on. I'll call Talking her back re- and let her know Talking that. Talking greasy. Come on, with, man. With Earn. Come on. Y'all ready for this? No, 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 no. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, y'all. We 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 keep it at 100. I'm about to I'm about to slide out. Actually, I'm about to cheap this little. He gonna slide out because my wife gonna give him the uppercut too. All right, y'all. This is just being earnest. Courtesy of slideshow.com. Until next time. Love y'all, motherfuckers. Peace. Peace. Download.